Hey, how's it going today? Today we're making a delicious barbecue chicken sandwich on a brioche roll. You're gonna love this. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. And we're making it with a nice sauce that we're gonna be coating it with, with our chicken with. And we're using uh, chicken thighs, which just are so nice and juicy and tender, and they are so easy to cook. And you're gonna love the sauce because that's really what makes it. And I can't wait to show you. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Okay, so here we go with chef joke number one. Did you hear about the hamburger who couldn't stop making jokes? He was on a roll. We're going to start off by making our barbecue sauce. I'm using my favorite brand, Primal Kitchen. So I'm using their avocado mayo and their classic barbecue sauce. Now check out the ingredients here. They're really nice and clean. And unlike the majority of barbecue sauces you find in the store, it's really low in sugar. We'll combine the mayo with the barbecue sauce and give that a little stir. I like to season up the barbecue sauce with a few spices like smoked paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. Now to give this a little tang, I'm going to be adding some apple cider vinegar. Now remember, you can get the written recipe down below in the description of this video. Now do you remember I told you that Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce is low in sugar? Well, that means you have more control over how sweet the sauce is. You can always add more sugar or sweetener to suit your taste. So I'm adding a little bit of maple syrup. So now we're gonna prep up our condiments or things that we're gonna be putting on this burger. So I've got some Monterey Jack cheese. I've got organic here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice it kind of on the thin side. You wanna use a nice melting cheese because it's just gonna be on there a little bit and I want it to just melt a little bit. We'll do four slices. Now for our tomato, we're gonna wanna just put a nice slice of tomato on there and I'm gonna try and, I like it nice and thin, so I'm gonna try and slice it as thin as possible. I'm also gonna add a little bit of red onion, thinly sliced. Now for the avocado, which I'm gonna be adding to my sandwich because, well, it's just so good. I'm gonna make it mashed, and that way it will stay on my burger a little bit better than if it was in slices. So we'll just place our avocado in a bowl. I'm gonna mash it up, and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to that because avocado needs salt, and some lemon to keep it from turning brown. So here's all my condiments that I'm putting on my sandwich. I have some romaine lettuce here, uh, tomatoes, of course, the cheese, and the onion. Now let's get to the chicken. I'm using chicken thighs. I really want to encourage you to, to use chicken thighs because they're just so much more tender and juicy than chicken breast, and they're much easier to cook. Now chicken thighs are more tender and juicy because they have more fat on them, and I'm gonna cut some of that fat off because I just don't want it in my sandwich. So you're gonna wanna trim it up a little bit. So after you flatten out your boneless, skinless chicken thigh, you're gonna wanna trim out, pull out some of that fat and just cut it off. It takes a couple of minutes, but it's well worth it. Once you cut most of it off, you're good to go. Okay, so I placed all my chicken here in a dish, and now I'm gonna add that delicious barbecue sauce to it. And just enough to coat it, because I wanna save some so that I can add it to the buns before I put them together. So that should be about enough. So get in there with your clean hands and just toss the, the chicken into the sauce and make sure it's nicely coated. Okay, we're ready to start cooking. I've got two pans here, cast iron pans. If you had a nice big griddle, that would work too. But I'm gonna cook my chicken in the, in the big pan here, and then this one is gonna be where we're gonna brown up our brioche bun, so that'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna start here. I got my heat up to medium heat. I'm gonna add some olive oil to the, to the pan. Make sure it's, you know, nicely coated. Once it starts to smoke like that, I, you know it's getting hot. So we've got our chicken here, and I'm just gonna lay a nice piece in here. And let it just sit. Don't move it around. And you want those pieces to lay out as flat as possible so they'll cook up 
as evenly as possible. So I'm going to let these thighs cook for about four minutes before I flip them over. Maybe five minutes, it just depends. Now we'll be testing our thighs with a temp with an instant read thermometer a little bit later. We want the temperature to, to reach 165. That way we know it's done. The beautiful thing about chicken thighs is they don't dry out like chicken breasts do. So it's really, they're very forgiving. It's been about four minutes now. I think we'll give these a flip over. So I'm going to let these cook another probably four minutes on the second side or until the temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, it's time for chef joke number two. How does the man in the moon eat his home delivery hamburgers? On satellite dishes. <laughs> so while that chicken is cooking, let's pull out those brioche rolls. We're going to take them out and we're going to brown them up. All right, while we flip those over, we're going to work on our buns here. I want to just toast them up a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in the pan. Adds a nice little flavor. And we're going to toast those up. Now, back here at the chicken, we're going to check the temperature with our instant read thermometer to get an idea where we're at. I'm getting 140. I'm going to lay some of the cheese on top. I guess I'll make that one. My burger. Now let's check those buns. Oh, that's looking real good. I'm going to take those off. Our chicken is done because I tested it and it's uh, 65 degrees. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take this off, bring it over and we're gonna assemble this up. So we're gonna start with our brioche bun right here and we're gonna put more sauce on it. I don't know about you, but I like a lot of sauce. Not too much, but I mean enough. We got that buttery bread there. We're gonna add just a smattering of our sauce, our barbecue sauce. Here comes our beautiful piece of chicken. Right on there. Oh, it smells incredible. I'm gonna put some lettuce. This is some romaine lettuce here. I'm gonna put a slice of that on there or two. And then we're gonna go with our thinly sliced tomatoes. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. You can go one. I think I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna go with one. I'm gonna toss on some onion, thinly sliced, and then we're going to finish it off with our avocado mash. And the avocado, when it's mashed up like this, will stay in place better than if it was a slice that goes shooting out when you take a bite, you know? We don't want that. And then we finish it off with our top piece. Now, doesn't that look like something you want to sink your teeth into? This burger is about as messy as the messiest taco, but you are going to love it. My son wolfed down that first sandwich and now is asked for a second one, so here you go. I mentioned this sandwich as being as messy as a taco. Speaking of tacos, I've got a recipe for you to try that's just as messy and so delicious. My birria tacos. Give them a try. I hope you enjoyed today's video, everyone. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out every week. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.